Mm, guys, you know we are almost coming to the end of this semester. And I like to do a summary of what you expect in your final exam uh, from the mid semester and also the final. Uh, whatever I'm going to record in this particular video will help you pass or get a clue of how your mid semester or final examinations will look like. And basically, all I'm going to teach in this particular video is are the shortcuts of AutoCAD. Mostly that's what is set in the final examination of this course AutoCAD. Now that this course is a practical course, you don't expect to find something funny or so much theory. Basically the the, the shortcuts are what mostly is set in your exams, either in semester or final exams. So I'm going basically to talk about that. Pre free and uh, this one will prepare you for the mid semester exam that is about to start. So, from the introduction part, I'm going to introduce how to draw basic things then to complex. So, the first one is I'm going to use to start with is L. That is, the letter L is used for making symbol lines in the drawing. L is used for making symbol lines in the drawing. Also, we have C. C, letter C, is used for making a circle in AutoCAD or in the drawing. Also, we have PL, PL. That one is the shortcut commands used to make a pole line in your drawing. Uh, another one is REC, R-E-C. That one is used to make a rectangle in AutoCAD. We have P-O-L, pole. It's used to make a polygon with ma with minimum three sides and a maximum of 10, 24 sides. Uh, take one, take this one seriously because I know you are going to be asked how many minimum sides that a polygon can be made and the maximum. The minimum is three sides and the maximum is 10, 24 sides. We have arc, that is A, R, C, that one. Just like the name suggests, it's the shortcut for making an arc in AutoCAD. We have ellipse used to make uh, an ellipse with major and minor axis. Ellipse is spelled E L L I P S E. It's used to make ellipses with a major and minor axis. Uh, next, we have reg. That is R E G. That is used to make a region in geometry, a region geometry in AutoCAD. Reg R E G. It's used to make a region geometry in AutoCAD. We also have C O. C O or yeah, C O is used to copy objects in AutoCAD. We also have array. That is A R R A Y. That is the command for making a rectangle, a rectangle, or a, or path array in AutoCAD. We have we also have T R. T R is the shortcut command used for trimming a geometry or a drawing in AutoCAD. We have O P. That is actually used. Using that command, you can be able to open um, options window, which contains most of the settings of AutoCAD. So when you want to open your settings, then you can use the shortcut command of OP. Yeah, after that, we have SC, SC. That one is used when you want to change the scale of, your, of an object in your drawing. Mm -hmm. So the next is P, sorry, P, B for boy. Uh, that one is used when creating a block. Or maybe in simple terms I can say, these are commands used for creating a block. Uh, the properties of a block can be defined using the block divination window. So actually B helps you for creating a block block in AutoCAD of course 
Mm, as I taught you earlier about how to draw a block, that one is a shortcut command for the same. We also have I. I can be used to insert an existing block or drawing as a block in AutoCAD. When you want to insert a block, just like I showed you in class, uh, I is the shortcut command for that. We also have ST. ST, using that particular command that is ST, you can be able to open text style window which controls properties of the default AutoCAD text style. We have X. X command can be used to explode objects like Pauline to lines and an array or a block to a symbol geometry etc. That is the work of X shortcut command. We also have F which is used to add rounded corner to rounded corners to the sharp edges of a geometry. These rounded corners are called fillets. We also have char, that is C H A, that one can be used to add slant edges to sharp corners. These slant edges are also called chamfers. So the shortcut command for chamfer is C H A, that is char. We also have L A. LA command can be used to open layer properties, manage palette, uh, which is a tool for creating and managing layers in a drawing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So also we have shortcut keys commands. Maybe you can use your keyboard to find out the commands. So that is basically what I'm going to talk about shortly. When you use Ctrl plus N, um, there is a shortcut used to open a new drawing in AutoCAD. Also, we, you can use Ctrl S, that is just like in Microsoft Office, it's used to save a drawing. We also have pressing Ctrl plus Shift and S uh, in, in AutoCAD that acts as a savers command. Maybe you want to save it. Uh, maybe as a PDF DWG, just like uh, the last assignment of Autopic I instructed you to. That is basically achieved by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus S. Uh, we also have Ctrl plus O. Clears the screen to show the only drawing area and hides pellets and tabs. Press it again to reset to default AutoCAD interface. Uh, we also have Ctrl plus one. Uh, that one helps you select and select an object and uh, sorry, you select and press Ctrl plus one to open the properties palette, which lists properties of the object. You can also use this palette to modify most of the properties of the objects too. You can also use PL command to open the property. Buried. We also have Ctrl plus 2. This one is used to open a design center for Buried or Parade, uh, which contains many AutoCAD blocks that can be used directly in your drawing. We also have a shortcut for that is Ctrl plus 9. You use this shortcut to toggle the feasibility of the command line. So most of you have been asking, maybe my command line is normal, then maybe when your command line is not feasible in your command line, then you can restore it or yeah, restore its feasibility by pressing Ctrl plus 9. Yeah, if it's hidden, you can retrieve it back by pressing Ctrl plus 9. We also have Ctrl plus C. Uh, you select objects from the drawing area and then after selecting then you press Ctrl plus C to copy the objects to the clipboard. Have Ctrl V just like in Microsoft Office, that one is a shortcut command for pasting or pasting the copied objects. Uh, we have Ctrl Z that is just like in Microsoft Office used for to undo the last action in your drawing. We have Ctrl Y that is for redo. And of course, Control Tab 
is a shortcut to cycle through or through or opening open drawing drawing tabs in AutoCAD. Yeah, basically that is what I can say about the keyboard shortcut keys. We also have status per toggle. Uh, I'm also going to talk briefly about the same. Whereby, mm -hmm, I hope you've learned, of course, so many objects like uh, we have friends for a tracking object snap, uh, snap object, uh, object snap, of course, and many others. So you have F9, that this is also uh, a shortcut in the keyboard. F9 is used to toggle the snap on mode. We have F7 used to toggle the feasibility of the background grid, which is often feasible in your drawing area. Uh, from away from that, we also have others like F8, which is which toggles auto mode on or off. When you want to turn it on and off, the shortcut is F9. Or a tracking can be toggled by using F10 and so many others of which you can read your own. Uh -huh. Away from that, I want to talk about privy general commands in AutoCAD that you can use in your drawing. We have txtexp. That is a command used to convert a single line as well as a multi a multi line text into a geometries. We have X line or XL that is spelled X L I N E command used to make infinite lines starting from the point of selections. Maybe when you want to trim or break this infinite line to finite length, it becomes a simple line geometry. We have P O O P O or P O P O I N T points that is a command that is used to make a single point geometry in AutoCAD. We have so many others like sketching, of course. That one helps you make a freehand sketch using when you want to make when using that command. You can use it to make a line or line or spline, but which appears to be drawn as a free hand by a free hand. Mm, yeah. So away from that, I also want to do to talk about something briefly. Units, just like I said in the beginning of the semester, if you want to access your units using the command line, then you have to type UN and enter. If they display a dialog box that has the units, maybe you can change to your particular specification. That's basically all about how to, to insert units. Uh, maybe you want to mirror text. I think I've been taught this. When maybe you want to mirror text, then you have to type in your command line M I R R text. You'll be able to mirror your text. Maybe you've written anything, then you can achieve that by doing that. Okay. Basically, those are the some of the commands that you can be able to use when maybe you are navigating within the AutoCAD workspace. Don't forget to be serious on this one and read them seriously because most of them will be in your mid-semester exams and also in the final exams. Uh, we have a file by the name PAK, that is a backup file. Once you've drawn your drawing and maybe you've erased it accidentally, then you can be able to retrieve it 
by using the pack that is BAK, which is the backup of the file that you might have deleted. Uh, when maybe you want also to group your objects so that they appear as one object, maybe you've drawn a lot, then you can be able you highlight you highlight the object that you want to to group. Then after highlighting it, then you right click, then you will see an option of grouping. Grouping actually helps you. Maybe you've drawn so many rectangles. They help you. Uh, navigate or do changes of course you can either increase or decrease the scale know that when it's in one object then it's very easy or becomes very easy to enlarge or to enlarge your object and all that that can be achieved easily by using uh, grouped objects yeah Right now, I think we are in 3D, of which I've taught some basics, some basics, uh, including, of course, uh, extruding, and of course, I'm going to teach some also in the that is the, in next week, of which maybe you might have a cut, revised for the same, and mostly revised on this uh, shortcuts that I've taught you because mostly the cuts will be there. And in case Malim gives a, an, a I mean, semester exam, then be aware that most of the exams will be from this. Meanwhile, be practicing on this, watch this video as many times as possible. Uh, at one point, I might set you an exam, and I think I use this one, and it will be of use or of value to your course, of course. So work hard, guys. Be serious. Stop joking. Uh, yeah, I wish you all the best. We meet next week during the lab time. Thank you so much.